been a while you haven't seen a video from us in a while but we're back we're back what it do we back and we're about to go on vacation <laughs> here's the backdrop she, she geek right now I'm ready to feel my feet in that sand go swimming in the beach <laughs> sun kiss this body <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but we are heading off on vacation we're going on yet again another Cruise. Yeah, make it a cruise. We're doing a short one this time, so. It doesn't matter. It's a cruise and we're going away, so. Gotta get away. Gotta get away. Yeah. So, what we decided to do this time was to do a video to let you know what essential items you need when you're going on a cruise. It That's, was a learning lesson. Yeah, because she got that all figured out. I just, <laughs> this is all I need. You already know. A hat and a tee. But, um. She got some other stuff that I think. Did he just say hat and a tee? Yeah. Is that all he's gonna wear for four days is a hat and a tee? Like, mm -mm -mm -mm. listen, do you understand that this man went and bought two packs of all okay. white t-shirts? Why are you talking about business though? And said that's his outfits for the four days. <laughs> you know, when you go on a cruise, you wanna have two outfits for each day. Why? Because you tend to Hang out all day long, either you're on the islands, whichever island you're on, and then you come back on the boat and then you have dinner or you go into the clubs or whatever. You don't want to wear the same outfit every day. Yeah, get kind of, all day. Get well, not just good. every day, but you don't want to wear the same outfit all day. Yeah, you just get kind Tacky. of stale. We feel the stale. Feel stale. <laughs> <laughs> what we decided to do was let you know not what to wear on a cruise ship, but just give you a few suggestions on things you need to do, things you should have when you're going on a cruise, if this is your first time cruising ever. All right? You ready? Sounds like a good deal. Let's make it happen. All right. So let's start off with this. A lot of people tend to worry about getting seasick. Okay. Yes. It is a possibility <laughs> you may get seasick. I've gotten seasick. Every time. No. It was once a, one day out of the, the, the... One day out of each trip. I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah, you're right. She was about to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One day out of each trip, I got sick. So, what I found were these C-bands. These C-bands, you just take them and place them on your wrist. You got to put the, one, forget the, time, the white tab on the wrist. And always make sure that you put the white tab on the inside. The reason for the white tab going on the inside is because it's like a pressure point. So that pressure point stops you from having that nauseated feeling of either vertigo or nauseated feeling from just simply the rocking of the boat. Yeah. So get these C-bands. They actually are amazing. And we got a two pair. <laughs> Not, it comes with two, but we had to get her another pair just in case those didn't work. I actually felt like Wonder Woman. I had so many of them. But what I also got was, hold on, dropped it. We should go. Hey. Dramamine. Dramamine is a treats symptoms on the spot and prevents nausea and vomiting. That's a good thing too. And yeah. dizziness. So you might want to go into your Target location. As you saw earlier in the video, we were going to Target to pick up some of these items. You might want to go into the travel section where they have a lot of mini items and get yourself a container of Dramamine. It does have four tablets in it. Um, you won't Same. need all four. Yeah. Just make sure you have something. Enough. Exactly. Put it on the trip size too. Exactly. Also, another thing, something very inexpensive, something you can actually enjoy, um, ginger candy. Ginger candy and green apples is your last resort. Green apples will kind of soothe your stomach and allow you to enjoy the rest of your cruise without feeling nauseous. And I learned you, that from my ship steward last exactly. year. Exactly. If you forget about the green apples, that's always on the cruise ships. I go upstairs to the Lido deck. Well, we always stay on the Lido deck, but go to the Lido deck and ask for a green apple. And when you get on the boat, honestly, if you're fearing that you may have some form of queasiness because it's your first time cruising, when you get on the boat, if you're still waiting for your room to be ready, just kind of go into the Lido deck and grab a couple of green apples and keep them inside your room just in case. Right? Worked. 
for me. If you like me, you don't need me. <laughs> All right, so now, when you get on the boat and you check in. I'm feeling the vibe right now. <laughs> he's feeling it because he sees yeah, his, yeah. his favorite item of all time. This, this, is, this is your money, this is your moolah. This is our old badges in here, our old cruise cards. Make sure you carry a lanyard. Yeah. Because they will not give you a lanyard to put your cruise card on. Um, and then you have to buy one. So buy one in advance. I got these from Walmart for, I think it was $3, yeah. $3, $4. It's metal. It has a magnet opening. See? It stayed on when I was in the pool. Stayed on when I was at the beach. And it does not come with this plastic little end piece. However, what we also did in Walmart, we bought these little clear plastics that you can put your cruise pass in. What? I couldn't see. They are clear. <laughs> yeah, I was going to see. It was, it was clear. This one right here. Yeah. No, I didn't use Windex. Okay. It's clear plastic. Gotcha. So you can put your cruise card in it. Yeah, save it for me. They, some of them come with the little holes on the end, but they kind of break. They break. Now, they do have, like, they'll punch a hole in your cruise pass, your cruise card when you get on the boat, when you check in. However, you, there's a potential, it happened to me, that when we got on the boat and I put like a little key tag on it, it broke and I had to carry it in my pocket for the rest of the trip. And that wasn't fun. Like you shape after. So he's all kinds of shady. <laughs> he's all kinds of shady. Moving on. All right. Once you get into your stateroom, I am anal retentive about this. I bought a travel size Lysol. I will spray everything down with Lysol because I get it. They do clean up. The stewards clean up, the, the steward maids clean up. Fine job. Great job. However, Lysol kills any germs seen and unseen. That just decided it wanna linger. It wanna stay for the next yeah. cruise. It <laughs> It's partying too hard the night before. It couldn't get up. No one got up. Lysol will take them out yeah. and help them pack their bags and go. So spray your toilet seat down. Spray your phones down. Spray it all down. And if you don't spray it down, Clorox wipes will also help. Spray it down. You don't want to take nothing home that you didn't come with. Okay? All right. What else you got, babe? What else do I have? You got, you got a bunch of stuff for me. I do. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I learned all this from traveling in the past. So, what I like to do is, because we have all these little gadgets, everything is small, everything is travel size, I like to take a shoe organizer. It looks a little foggy. A little shoe organizer. Because this is a smaller trip, we got a nine shoe organizer. When we went on a seven day trip last year, I think it was like 24. 24. So it holds your curling irons. Um, I don't need curling irons, clearly I got a curly hair. But it holds your clippers, shavers, I like all of these little gadgets. And you could just hang it on the outside of your, or the inside of your bathroom door. And it's out of the way. Even if you want to put shoes in it, which I don't put shoes in it. You put up flip flops though. Well, that's when we come back. Or our beach shoes. We put them at the very bottom. So and you can rags, use this. The wash rags. Everything can be put in here. What else you got? Um, please. If you're traveling on a cruise and you have your passport, bring your passport. Yes. Granted, they say you don't need a passport. You can use a birth certificate. That's cool and all. But if you have a passport, bring it. Because guess what? No matter what island you're in, they may be able to stamp your passport like we did in Dominican Republic at Amber Cove last year. They stamped our passport. And it was like, no, they're not gonna stamp it because why? You're not here for a whole day. Lies. That's what they told you? Yeah. I didn't hear that, but it was like, yo papi, yo. That's not there on the I boat. I just joke. it was a joke. Do you see why we've been going for so long? Cause I've been wanting to punch him in his eye. That's why. <laughs> he had to heal, sorry. I had to heal, yeah. Um, <laughs> But also, ladies, gentlemen, you never know when it's going to hit you. Please take some Tylenol, some Tylenol, some Advil. You may get a headache. 
from the hangover, from the drinking you had the night before, because guess what? Happened to you? It has happened to me. <laughs> okay? Yes. It um. happened to me. And we had no Tylenol. We had to go up to the ship store and pay a trillion dollars more than what we paid for this one for $1.19. This was also purchased at Target. Now what I didn't tell you was the shoe case, the shoe carrier or shoe organizer was purchased at Walmart for $4.78. So pick that up. Inexpensive. Very inexpensive. When you're getting dressed and you want to go out, we have a tendency of seeing that we may get a little lint on us. Grab yourself a small, inexpensive lint brush, also at Target, for a dollar. That was a dollar. Yeah. This was a dollar. And it has several sheets on it. It has actually 30 sheets on it. You bad. need one sheet to just... Yeah, because she, she hate when I be trying to clean the whole... <clears throat> Stop, Ike. Yeah. Okay, 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 I want to sing the Jenny Ike. Can you do it? Go on, no, no, Go on, sing. Okay. Big wheel. Nah, I just do it. <laughs> But get yourself a lint brush. It is imperative to keep you looking snazzy when you're going to formal night. You don't want to have on black tie and have a bunch of little all over your body. Okay? Also, the next thing to go so along now with this, that is... This is big for me. I ain't gonna lie. This is because of him. I like wearing white tees. He wears white tees all the time. That is his formal Man, attire. Listen, this is a lifesaver. Because if not, I'll be changing 50 times a day. Can you see what that is? That is shout wipes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, thinking, this I'm one right up, here I'll cannot wear a white tee oh. and go and eat. Because guess what? What happens to your white tee? So now I got the hang of it. You got to you gotta keep your food from like this. So I eat like this now. Like he too. <laughs> Do you understand what it's like to sit with a grown man and he takes the napkin... And ties it. You don't mind it. Don't, don't I like you mind it. Like a bib. <laughs> okay. No, we won't be doing that. And it could be just crackers. I don't care. <laughs> it could be dry. You always have it yeah. all gonna, in this I'm section. Like, my white teeth got to stay fresh. So get yourself some shout, shout to go. Some shout wipes. This comes with four individual wipes in it at Target. I think it was like a dollar. Well, it, was, it, was a dollar. it was a dollar? A dollar or less, less, but it wasn't no more than a dollar. You might have to you say, I might have to go back and get some more because he only got four sheets in that one. Don't trust myself. How many white tees did I say he bought? <laughs> yeah, we may need to go get one for each tee. And we got small stuff too. So we decided to carry things small this time because it is a smaller trip. We don't want to carry full size items or whatever. So what we decided this time to do was to carry small travel size deodorants which we picked up at Target as well for, I believe it was $1.19 or $1.09, something like that. So this is little kind of, and we got matching ones, look. Mew, 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 mew. But yeah, they, they, they. yeah you be sweating. Oh, sweating you? Yeah, sweating. Ta-da. <laughs> we got these for $1.09, I believe, okay? Take that instead of taking your whole one. We have a tendency of leaving Everything That's why never we fails. That's why we decided to get travel size. So if we leave it, we're not that mad. I mean, every hotel we've been to, I think they've kept Everything. or had a shower gel. Shower gel. Shower two lotion, two brushes, two paste in full. And we decided this time we were going to carry trial size two pastes. So I'm going to make sure I sweep the mess out of this on my last day. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be struggling. If they try. <laughs> So you carry your own travel size toothpaste. This we also paid a dollar for at Target. I'm telling you, Target is not that place. Also, for the ladies who are wearing makeup, when you go inside Target, Target has a makeup remover. You want to grab this because when you go to bed at night, you want to get as much makeup off as possible. If you can make it. If you can. <laughs> You don't want to wake up and roll over yeah. and look at your pillowcase, which everything on the bed is white, and see a whole face on the pillowcase. Yeah. That's a straight no bueno. Then you don't want to sleep with makeup anyway because you don't want to wake up with a breakout. So this is imperative. Hold on, I forgot something. Be right back. 
more stuff. I know it seems like a lot to travel for, but it's not. This, ladies, do you see this? How a freaking amazing is this bonnet? This bonnet represents me in its entirety. Do you see the glasses? How cute! And the makeup, it was made for me. And the inside, this is material the outside, the inside is all satin. Stoked, she's stoked. I love my bonnet, okay? Not only does it have a bonnet, it has a head wrap that goes with it. So if I want my hair, my edges to be laid, I put the wrap on and then I put my my bonnet on. Do you see how big this thing is? <laughs> I love it! Sorry. Too excited? No, who made that for you though? This was made by a young lady here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Her name is, well, I'm sorry, her page on Instagram is Creations by Sherelle. I'll put her name right here. You might have seen her in one of my previous videos. We saw her in uh, Joanne's picking up some fabric because she was making some orders. Don't you love it? Isn't it adorable? Look. It represents me so well because it has the makeup. It has the nail polish because you know how I love my nails. Big frame glasses on it. Ladies, protect your hairstyles when you're on these cruises. Get yourself a satin bonnet. Even if you don't, satin bonnets aren't very pretty, a lot of them, because they don't have no designs, they're just plain in color. Like, this is corny, this is whack, this is ugh. So it's satin on the inside and perfectly designed on the outside. Creations by Sherelle. Essential things for women. Ladies, I know you like to wear your heels. Now, a cruise, you can wear your heels on for a formal night or any night at dinner or in the club. However, protect your feet, please. Protect your feet. These little silicone gel liners inside your shoes, just place them in and they adhere to the inside of the shoes, give you way more comfort in the shoes so you can dance all night. So please get them because trust me, my first year, I think I wore flip-flops to the club because my feet were so tired from wearing heels. This is a vacation. Man. Yeah, but I also was nursing a broken toe. Yeah, that's... So having a broken toe that never healed back properly, wearing heels for me is very hard. So get those silicone inserts for your shoes. I got those from Walmart. It's under Dr. Scholl's brand. I'm sure you can find those and pick those up. I can't remember how much I paid for them at the time but they can't be any more than about five or six dollars. And when I got it, it had a coupon on it for two dollars off, so winning. Now, when you go inside your room, um, there are two bottles typically inside your room. If it's the first time you've traveled, do not, I repeat, do not touch those waters. Mm -hmm. Why? Because those waters are four dollars for what would typically cost you a dollar in the store. So, do not buy the waters. Now, let me tell you a trick about the waters. When you go to dinner, you ask them for a bottle of water. They will bring you that big bottle of water at dinner. And it doesn't cost you $4. So you can drink, drink, drink some of that and then carry it back to your room with you. That's how that goes. It's simple. Don't take the room water out. Don't take the water out the room. Maybe for decoration. As decoration only. So if you are a juice drinker and you really like that guava juice you get in the morning, please get some in the morning and put it in a container a bottle and put it in your refrigerator inside your room why because you can't get it the rest of the day now when you get off of the boat and you go to the beach you're gonna want it, or even if you're on the boat and you're on the deck chairs there's a lot of wind when you're in the middle of the ocean and you're on <laughs> and you're in movement um your beach towels will tend to fly off um so what you want to do is go to the dollar store Dollar Tree, is it Dollar Tree? You wanna get these little things right here. They're clips. You take these clips and you clip the towel mm -hmm. to wait, the wait, chair. Wait, put your finger. No. Put your finger. Okay, you take, the <laughs> <laughs> you take the towel and you lay it on the chair as normal and you clip this on one side and clip okay. one on the other side. Whoa. You can even put one at the base where you're sitting this one can't even put it back on. 
put one at the base where you're sitting and it will keep your towel in place. Instead of the wind taking it every time you get up, you gotta keep straightening it up every just, time you come back. Just little tricks. Just, gotta, just little things that can help you out when you're on the boat. Yeah. Okay. So, hmm? Is that what I think you're about to bring up? It's more for you, ain't it? Anyway. Like I was saying, last year I had Dre go on a wild goose chase <laughs> to get services, to... But last year I broke a nail, day two into the cruise. So I was a little bit pissed off. That you was like, by the time I age, MacGyver. Yeah, I figured out a way to fix my nail. I took some good ladies, let me tell you. But do we have to just do that now? Cause that's like another... Forget it. So I bought a two first aid kits. I bought a little one and a big one. You never know which one you're gonna need. This one has bigger band-aids in it and antiseptic and stuff like that because you don't wanna get hurt on a boat and then have to try and look for the ship dock. So it has all of these things in it. You can just keep it, you may need it, you may not need it, but it don't hurt to have it. And honestly, I, we can also use this for after hours, play dock. In case you scratch your knee. <laughs> <laughs> you have your first aid kit for free, okay? All right, so I have one more thing that I wanna show you that I take on every cruise, and he does as well, but I'm gonna show you mine. Um, I take my double wall cup. Yeti. Well, my Yeti, okay? Um, it actually matches my suitcase, rose gold. But I take this with me because when we wake up in the morning, you want to get a cup of coffee. I don't want to have to carry like the little short cups or anything else. I can put it in here, enjoy my coffee, and keep it moving for the day. Hours, almost, almost hours. Exactly. Or if we have our own juice or whatever, or if we mix and juice or whatever. And the first time we went on a cruise, we saw everybody with these cups and we were like, well, why are they carrying That's a right. cup of juice? I mean, a cup around the boat all the time. You can fill us up with ice, put your juice in it. Even if you want that guava juice that they serve in the morning, fill it up with ice, put your juice in it, and it's good for the rest of the day. Yeah. When you're taking it off on the islands, shoot, most of the islands will let you walk around with a drink in your hand. So having this, you can put your drink right inside here and walk around the island, they'll think it's juice. Yeah, it's perfect. That's it's perfect. Doing. Okay. Um, I am taking a pair of sneakers. Are you? Yeah. Got Always it. take a pair of sneakers, a pair of sandals. Yes, granted, you're going to an island. What I will tell you is be careful with wearing flip-flops, thong sandals on your feet in the island walking because that I learned. Right? No, for women. Oh, I learned that that, that hurts yeah. your feet. It's cute and all. You think you're walking on the sand. Everything is great until you walk back to the boat and your feet hurt and you can't wear shoes that night. <laughs> so try to avoid wearing thong sandals while you're walking around the island and enjoying, enjoying the island. If anything, if you know you're going to the beach, wear flip flops that cover the whole foot and your toes is out, but try not to wear thong sandals um, or even sneakers. Any suggestions from you? Um, no. Just, uh, just try to be as comfortable as you can. Especially Listen, you're on vacation. You're not at work. Enjoy yourself. Loosen man. up. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Um, formal night. For most ships, it's dress nice. Yeah. I mean... And we like doing that. It's, it's just one night. It's just two hours of your night. Put on a dress, ladies. Look cute. Gentlemen, put on a collared shirt. Even if it's a polo, three button down. But don't go in there with a white t-shirt. Yeah. Nah, nah, I don't He's that. never done it, no. but you know, there are people, when we've gone, yeah. last year, especially on our seven day cruise, we've seen people with khaki shorts, white t-shirts and sneakers or flip flops walking into formal night. Mm -hmm. And that's not fun. I mean, every night you can eat anywhere. You can eat on the Lido deck. You can eat in any of the specialty restaurants. Ooh. But when it's formal night, Sorry. am I boring you? Nah, I don't know what that was about. It just came out of nowhere. Well, <laughs> dang. Nah, nah. But <laughs> Sorry. But on formal night, just try to do your best to dress really nice because you're doing formal pictures. Um, there's a meet and greet with the captain. A lot of people aren't aware of. Um, everyone calls it elegant night. Um, captain's dinner. It's no longer captain's dinner. No, it's formal no night more. or elegant night. Um, and the pictures, they, uh, the pictures are amazing. I did forget something. 
about to say. They can't see what it was. What was it? It's the Ziploc suitcase bags. These are life saving. If you're going on a lengthy cruise, or even if it's a cruise where you're carrying your children with you, you want to use this because it saves a lot of space in your suitcase. This is what it looks like. It's like a big Ziploc that you use yeah. in your kitchen. Yeah. It has a slide across the top. Last year, I think this year too, I got nine oh. pair of shorts Unbelievable. with eight shorts. shirts Unbelievable. into here. And you squeeze it and it seals tight and flat. And it fit in the suitcase. And I took one suitcase that had four of these filled. It's so right up the minute you open it. You don't have to use a vacuum to seal it. You don't have to use a vacuum to reseal it. You just simply put everything in. And once you roll it or you press it flat like this, yeah. or myself, I sat on it. And it went flat. She was waiting for me to say so. <laughs> but, I, to say <laughs> but I did. I was good. Who shocked me this time? Yeah. But that'll be it for today's video. We yeah. want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for riding out with us and subscribing and yes. following. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I don't know what you're waiting for. We're going to record the cruise as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, We're going to yeah. record the craziness and show you that. We're also going to do a ship tour and show you where everything is on this boat. Um, now this one is this definitely the first time we've been on this one. Yes, every boat we've been on. Well, no, no the last we, one we've been on twice. We got, yeah. That's because we love, we love the ship boat. director. I, the cruise lie. director was amazing. Doctor E. Yeah. And see, we did that because we, we we realized we missed a lot the first time, so we had to go back again and do it again. So we did, and we're going on Carnival Horizon um, in 2020. We've already booked. So yes, as you can see, we like to cruise. Cruising is the ultimate Love vacation. Is life. <laughs> cruise is life. It is life. I'm done. Just like people. Yeah, basically. So look out for more video, more content. Yes. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, as I was saying before, hit that subscribe button, hit the alert button so you can get notified when we post a new video. We will be posting another video as well because we have hit our plateau of 1,007 subscribers. As we talk today, we have, I think, 1,025, yeah. not we, sure, but our channel is growing and we thank you all thank you for, for subscribing and sticking with us. I know our content has been coming in a little bit slow, but we will up that. We will get more content coming to you quicker. It's just that I started working and it's kind of hard to record videos, edit videos, and get them posted. She do, I feel bad, she does do it all. And I probably got them both. I ain't even trying to look. But yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, start, <laughs> I'm gonna start on that. So so we can kinda I'm get I'm gonna teach you how to edit. Yeah, so we get more content. When she day she's tired, and I still got a little bit of energy out there just being, but we are gonna get some more content out there for you guys, cause we definitely see that you're enjoying what you're watching. We, and just sticking with us. Yeah, and we appreciate it. So, more to come. come. All right, we'll talk to you later. Peace.